Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here from Cannon Hall Farm and it is a really, really exciting day because we can finally talk about one of our biggest embargoes in quite a while, which is of course Princess R Donkey. Now you probably know the full story by now because it probably recently was on the TV. It's been a really, really difficult secret to keep because we don't usually rear baby donkeys, but we're in this situation now. So I'm going to go feed her her lunchtime feed and we're going to have a check in and see how she's getting on. Hey girl. Hey girl. How are you feeling today? How are you doing? Are you hungry? You ready for some food? Yeah, let's get you fed. Come on. So I'm very, very pleased to introduce you to Princess, our donkey. Now, you probably know the full story, but Daffodil, her mum rejected her straight away at birth, which was incredibly sad. It's not very often that that happens. There's nothing wrong with Princess that would indicate she had any health issues, that mum didn't want to rear a poorly animal. Um, she had no problems with mastitis or the falling process herself. She just seemed to not want to have a child, which, you know, this does happen sometimes, we see it happen with sheep occasionally and it isn't very often with equines but we're in this situation now and we're giving this little girl um, quite a few feeds every day because you can see just how big she is. Now Dorsey, our milking goat, has stepped in once again to save the life of yet another animal and that is what's in this bottle which is goat's milk. We may end up moving her on to kind of like a, a multi-milk formula when she's a bit older just to make sure she's getting enough milk if Dorsey isn't producing enough for this big girl here. You probably saw when she was first born we were quite concerned about her weight in the following days because she did lose a little bit. So what we started doing is weighing her on a regular basis and kind of with the scales we have here the easiest thing to do to weigh an animal is to pick the animal up and like step on the scales yourself. But as you can see with Princess she's got to the point where she's a bit big for me to pick up. So you can see just how quickly this milk goes down. So she's getting a few feeds a day. She's actually eating some solid food as well. She's getting kind of like a meadow mix feed as well as a very special kind of equine fall feed which she really really enjoys don't you? She does have a habit though of knocking her bucket of food over which you know there's a few horses that we've got that do that and I think Princess she's going to be a little bit naughty but that's why it's important as well that we're not only like her mum and like we've got to care for her and love her of course but we've got to teach her some manners because that's what her mum would usually be doing so if she gets a bit bitey you know we do have to tell her that's not nice behaviour especially now she's getting a bit older but we're getting her used to kind of being stroked all over getting used to her legs being touched and things because if she goes to like the farrier or the vet it just means that's going to be like as pleasant experience as possible for her. Next step is going to be kind of training her up on a head collar and a lead rope and we've done a little bit of that so far. Quite proud of her, she's done very well but we might have to do a video featuring telling you all about that in the future. She is quite a few weeks old now and kind of where she was losing that little bit of weight in the beginning we're really really happy to see her kind of like this she's full of energy full of beans and she does enjoy playing around which we you know it's always fun to do and you know come down see you there and have a li little bit of a play time she does enjoy kind of running around the pen chasing you we're really pleased we can finally share princess's whole story with you and we can't wait to kind of keep you updated on how she grows in the future i think she's going to be quite a big donkey i mean look at the size of these ears already so we hope you enjoyed meeting princess and hearing her full backstory and thank you so much for watching and from me and princess here we'll see you later bye enjoy the rest of your day